all right all right um this is crazy um obviously i'm not gonna freaking let you guys wait let's just get right into it one thing is for sure we do get an amazing battle at the beginning we do get some amazing moves some amazing fighting power we do get some really good fighting at the end before Goku going into Ultra Instinct. Mm, that, hit, that hit was amazing. Now they may they make it seem um because the power scale let's just talk a, a little bit just a little bit the power scale between them obviously Goku is supposed to be beating her up because he is in God form now if you really think about it they keep restating everyone Beerus even the angels even um, um Champa they keep restating that Goku stamina is really low because he just had a huge fight with Jiren so maybe that's why he's at his full power of super Saiyan. A Super Saiyan God. Now I want you to check this out. There's a few key points in this. Goku. Number one key point. Here we go. Boom. He lets his guard down. Letting his guard down is one of his biggest weaknesses and we see it again. Now this hit that he receives. Right away, it knocks him out. He loses power. He goes into a groggy mode. This is what um, Champa says. Check this out. Check this out. Obviously, Goku is not losing. That's my boy Goku. Here we go. If I get quiet, it's because I haven't seen it yet. And I'm just watching it with you guys. Here we go. <laughs> right there I know you guys don't want me to um stop it you just want to see it but I need you to understand why he's frog he's frog groggy froggy whatever he's unconscious so if you remember Beerus said um Beerus uh, no the angel said the angel of Beerus I forgot his name totally forgot his name he says, um, when you go into Ostra Instinct mode, your body moves on its own. And it's good because Goku brain, Goku's brain isn't normal like every other brain. He's not super genius. So it makes it a little bit easier to reach the Ultra Instinct. But in this form, the Goku's body already knows how it feels to go to Ultra Instinct. And him being unconscious, meaning his brain is not even thinking, he's just sleeping in his brain, makes it so much easier for him to go ultra instinct. This is what I believe. If you believe something else, just leave it down in the comment. Let's get into this. For man, man, man. <laughs> this one right here. And the song, we get the song, we get the song. <laughs> He's unconscious. His body is moving on his own. I definitely know that. He, what the hell? He's sleeping out here. He doesn't have the heat. The heat is not coming off his body. You think how long can he last in this state? <laughs> yep, yeah, he's definitely mastering it. He's gonna master it. Oh, did he already did? Wait. Why are they so worried? <laughs> Jiren better wake up. 
Jerem Barry wake up before he gets his ass whooped meditating. Don't tell me it ends there. Oh, dude, this is this is some grimy stuff. <laughs> this is some grimy stuff. How can they do this to you, bro? They show you Ostra Instinct, and then right away they end the, the freaking show. We gotta wait all the way to next week for, for freaking to see another episode. This is some crazy ass thing. Oh, this sucks. But um, if you already read, read the spoilers, spoilers alert, spoilers alert, stop watching the video. Stop. Stop. I, I told you. So uh, this is um, 114. In 115, he fights Kefla. And then uh, I think he beats Kefla by 114 or 115. And then he loses the power of the Ultra Instinct. Um, according to the spoilers that came out. Um, then he's gonna be in the ground and somebody's gonna come help him 17 or 18 come save him because somebody tries to attack him I don't know who it is but what I'm gonna do is the link in the description is gonna give you all the spoilers if you want to see the spoilers if you don't don't but thank you for watching uh, it's so crazy I, I, I love anime so just keep watching